All right, here's the first one. We'll go rocker with a foot lift. All right, so side, wide, low in your hips. When you rock back, look, lift your front foot off the ground because when you come down, okay, we want to feel ourselves come down from front to back in our front footprint. From ball to heel, we don't want to roll from heel to toe. What were we just feeling with the pull there on our front side, our front hip, in our front hip? Stability, right? Being an anchor, being an axis of rotation. So when I land, if every time I land, I'm rolling from heel to toe, what's my front hip doing the entire time I'm rolling from heel? I'm shifty. There's a leak in my balloon. Timing-wise, it's gonna create deficiencies power, it's gonna suck it out of you a little bit, right? If I feel myself come down on the ball of my front foot, I'm instantly stable and instantly rotational. Again, what did we say as you turn around your front side, what should you feel your body weight do? Drive up, drive back, or drive the ground down? Ground down. Yeah, so what's that, what's that little weight shift into the ground gonna do? It's going to drive my heel down as I turn around my front hip there. You see what I'm saying? Do five or eight. Again, this is all for feel. You don't have to do, I want you to tap into the feel of things, not the number of reps you have to do. So if you, it's good after five, do five. If you wanna do a few more, do a few more. Instant stability, instant rotation. Make sure you're landing on the ball of your front foot first, you'll be able to reinforce the feel of everything you felt with the pole there if your movement pattern's good. See what I'm saying? Yeah.